Uh, so, hi everyone. My name is Evgeny. I uh, am a data scientist with a couple years of experience. I saw only one uh, another team member of uh, of my team, uh, Dmitry. Do you want to present yourself? Introduce yourself. Uh... Sure, sure. Uh, I'm Dmitry. Uh, I'm a research engineer at uh, Kaust, in, Kaust University in Saudi Arabia. Uh, so basically, I'm handing over the word to Yevgeny. Yevgeny, please mm -hmm. go ahead. Yeah, so uh, I will walk you through all parts of our solution and uh, how we merged uh, everything together. So, uh, in summary, we had we have like uh, three uh, main components in our solution. Uh, it's uh, Diberta models of trained on uh, pursuit assay and pursuit like generated assays. Uh, the second one is um, Diberta models trained on pile pajama continuations. And the third one uh, is a TFADF pipeline. We also used uh, Diberta scatter as a preprocessing step. Uh, but only for the Bertha model inputs. Uh, and after after all, uh, we aggregated the all probabilities um, from these components into steps. First, uh, we uh, aggregated the uh, FADF pipeline probabilities with uh, SA models probabilities. And uh, second uh, step is aggregation of uh, first step probabilities and pile Diberta probabilities. Uh, so I would say that uh, the backbone of our solution is uh, transformers, Adiberta large models trained on uh, different, uh, uh, different diverse uh, large data set. So to train the first four uh, models, we used a mix of uh, pursuit as uh, public generated data and custom generated data. We also mixed in a small number of uh, Project Gutenberg, Gutenberg books. Uh, at this stage, uh, data were generated by uh, prompting OM to rephrase uh, text. Uh, we either gave the full text to the model or separate sentences to the model. We also uh, generated the partially rephrased the says when we gave only half of the sentences to the model and uh, kept uh, the other half unchanged. So we found that uh, data generated this way is uh, more diverse compared to the data generated by using only the assignment as prompt. And uh, the text have uh, at least some context about uh, the source text that uh, students used. Uh, so we generated around uh, 200 samples, uh, 200,000 samples this way, but uh, most of them were too easy for model to classify. So we decided to select on the hard to classify samples by uh, iteratively adding uh, um, human written text and generated text that uh, previous model fa failed to predict correctly. Uh, the main problem with um, these models uh, were paying too much attention to grammatical errors up to the point when single uh, typo could flip predicted probability. We tried uh, uh, adding errors to generated texts uh, and uh, training on fully corrected texts, but it didn't help. The only three things that slightly improved our model uh, are partially rephrased assess when uh, when you keep uh, this uh, natural human uh, typos in generated set. Uh, the second one is uh, books or um, text, human written text uh, without any uh, typos and uh, depth scatter due to inference. Uh, so uh, we trained for models, uh, the best single model uh, had uh, eight for six private score and and uh, ensemble of four uh, had 866 private score. The second uh, part of our solution and probably the most important one is uh, 
um, Iberta large models trained on uh, diverse uh, data from uh, from pile slim pajama and uh, generated continuations for them. We used a uh, small uh, number of words as prompt uh, and wide range of uh, sampling parameters. Uh, we used uh, 38 different models uh, and one of them were Mistral 7 billion fine-tuned on uh, Pursuit Assess. So we've generated 560,000 samples this way. You can see the distribution of models we used. We mainly used small models, uh, 7 or 15 billion parameters, but I assume that uh, you can improve the, the discriminator score by uh, training it on uh, samples from larger model. Uh, and for models of 13 billion parameters in large, we used AWEQ quantization. So we trained uh, three uh, models using different versions of data and uh, used uh, these uh, three states to fine tune another six models on uh, pursued uh, SS. Uh, we used uh, small sentence one and random time shift uh, uh, for training and trained every model for free box. So uh, you can see the individual uh, model scores on this table. The highlighted one, uh, the highlighted models are the best single performed model and the simplified solution. Uh, it is basically the same model, but uh, the second one is with a fine-tuned uh, head. You also can see the impact of uh, fine-tuning pile model on uh, Pursuit uh, Assess. In our case, it not always resulted in better model, but I assume that with, um, with better fine-tuning that set score should uh, improve. The last part for our solution is the FIDF pipeline. Uh, this pipeline is uh, almost identical to the one shared in public notebooks. We only added uh, high quality Pursuit data set, Pursuit assess to um, tokenizer training. We added uh, 1,000 pseudo labels to a voting classifier training and uh, we increased uh, a number of iterations and uh, wait for cat boost in voting classifier so uh, we we took simple average for probabilities from diberta and when we aggregated uh, we took a weighted average of the fidf probabilities uh, and sm models probabilities but only where the models were confident enough uh, when we uh, took uh, again a weighted average of first step and uh, probabilities from pile trained models. We also used uh, distance based post processing. Uh, we took TFIDF vectors and reduced dimensionality uh, using QMAP, uh, calculated the distance to human region assess and uh, distance to generated assess and scaled. Uh, probabilities by the ratio of first and second. So overall, it would take around uh, 4,000 minutes uh, to reproduce our solution. Uh, inference time of ensemble is seven, eight hours. Uh, final score is nine, seven, four, almost nine, seven, five. And uh, we can simplify our solution by uh, using only single Diberto model uh, trained on a pile pajama continuations. Uh, and uh, we can fine tune head directly on Rocco Hook using Bayesian optimization. So basically, we took uh, 10,000 uh, random training samples uh, made in embeddings using this state. Uh, when using Captuna, the optimized dot product between embeddings and uh, this, um, this initialized uh, 1024 vector. Uh, the score is uh, of this model is 976. Uh, yeah, it actually better than a score of uh, our big uh, selected uh, solution. And uh, this model has only uh, 20 minutes inference time. Uh, so to summarize, I think that uh, 
the data was uh, a key in this competition. Uh, the training of Diberta on large, diverse uh, data uh, is one thing that uh, set us apart. And uh, with uh, better fine-tuning uh, pursuit like uh, data set, uh, our score can improve even fewer. So that's it, if you have any questions. <coughs> Thanks for this. Uh, a real quick question. This is the first time yeah. that I've seen the TF-IDF pipeline used in here. Is, was this just a traditional kind of TF-IDF pipeline where you were comparing the differences between uh, AI-generated and uh, human-generated essays, more or less? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's like uh, just a classifier on top of uh, TF-IDF vectors. OK, cool. And uh, you yes. you had shown results with and without it. It seemed like it performed pretty well with just a TF IDF. Yeah, I mean. yeah. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> it's no, uh, a 927 private score uh, just yeah, off the TF IDF. Yeah, it did well on the public, but not the private data set. And that was one, the other yeah. one that I wanted to ask you about was you had like a, a, a simpler model. Um, it looked like yeah. it performed really well on the Private, public, wait. Yeah, private, private, but uh, it, the score on public uh, is not uh -huh. that well. Uh, mm -hmm. But I mean, uh, maybe our big solution is just the public score overfitted, and uh, this one is a good one. So, okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>